We honor all of the ministering brethren that are here tonight. All of the brothers and mothers and sisters and children and visitors. We want to thank and praise God for this wonderful opportunity. We thank and praise God for these 35 years and the 31st International Holy Convocation. The 35 years that God had blessed the man of God to be able to lead the people correctly. I'm so thankful because God had been so good unto me in my life and how God had placed the man of God in my life. And it was because of his prayers and the life that I've seen him lead before God that God have allowed me to be standing here today. I don't deserve to be here. I don't deserve to be in the truth. I don't deserve to be under the real man of God. But God has been so kind and so merciful and patient. I remember when the pastor would talk to me about the gospel, something I thought I knew, something I thought I was already familiar with. And he would often talk to me about being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And I would push it off because I had, yet I had, I was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So I thought I had it the right way. And I remember he was talking to me about the baptism and I pointed my fist, got my fist and pointed in his face and said, but what about the blood? And here I'm standing with no blood of the Lord in my life. The only blood I had was the blood running through my veins. But God, but God was kind. God didn't cut me off. Pastor kept talking to me, kept talking to me. And he presented a question one day. And he asked me, who's coming back for you? And I told him, Jesus Christ is coming back for me. And I asked him, well, who's coming back for you? And he said, the Lord Jesus Christ, God Almighty. And it was that question that knocked me off my spiritual pride. That question knocked me off. And we were on the porch of his mother's and father's house talking. And that question knocked me off so much until I went off the porch. And it was like I was dizzy because I never heard that statement. And from that point on, he kept talking to me and the Lord began to, hallelujah, the Lord began to help me. He told me that there was one God. He told me Jesus Christ was the one God. God Almighty put me on a spiritual biblical Bible tour about one God. And after that tour, I knew there was one God after believing for so long that there was three in the Godhead. Now I know it's one. Nobody can tell me different. Nobody can tell me different. God used the man of God. He used the man of God to show me the truth. To show me the truth. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to God. How oh, God been so kind and so merciful and so patient with me. I don't deserve to be here. But God been kind to me. He's been merciful and he's been patient. Through the man of God. I remember, you've heard about my reading ability. That didn't come from me. God man prayed. He prayed for me. Wow, he prayed. I didn't believe it. While he had his hands on me, while he was talking to God, I did not believe it. Through all my unbelief, because of his belief, and his connection with God. God heard his prayer. God heard his prayer.
God bless me for that ability. That when he's up preaching, scriptures be in my head. Scriptures be in my mind. Sometimes when I'm at home, scriptures drop through my mind. Sometimes it's just scripture. Sometimes it's scripture with explanation of what he's been telling me. That's God. God has done many things through him and let me be there. I have to tell you some of the things God did. I remember when we were on his mother's and father's porch. It's gotten to the point with me that I don't care who don't believe it. I don't care who don't believe it. I know what God has done for me through him. By God permission. We was on the porch of his mother's and father's house and it was raining. And as we were talking, well, he started praying and he had his head bowed. And as his hand was coming down, the rain began to slow down. And I looked and I went off his porch and I went walking and I looked up in the air because the rain that was raining, was it was slowing down to a drizzle. And while I was on my way home, a voice spoke to me and said, just believe. When I got back up on my porch, it started pouring raining again. I don't care who don't believe it. I don't even care who don't believe it. I know what God is doing through the man of God. I know it. I remember when he went on a fast. I believe it was seven days and seven nights. And I went into his room. I went into his room. And the moment I walked in, I could feel the atmosphere of God. It was so thick. It was like you could cut it out with a knife and take it with you. I know what God have done. So that's why I say I don't care who don't believe. Because what God have done is written in the scripture. It's written in the scripture. This work he told me over 40 years ago when pastor wasn't pastoring. I was with him in the first church. I watched him be faithful. I watched him preach. I watched him grow. I watched God deal with him. I have so many testimonies. I'll take one more. When we was in Jamaica, pastor was preaching. And I was reading the scripture. And I heard the scripture in his mind. He didn't call it. I heard the scripture in his mind. And I went and I got it. Just before he called it. God bless his mind to be full of Bible. It's full of the scripture. God has been so kind. He's been so merciful and patient. I have to tell you this last thing, Pastor. The devil don't want me to be with him. He don't want it. Satan spoke to me early on. Early on. I was in my kitchen. I wasn't thinking about the Bible. I wasn't thinking about Pastor Dennis at the time, but the devil spoke to me and he said, don't talk to Nikki no more. That was years and years ago. 
The voice was so loud. I thought there was somebody else in the kitchen. It was nobody there. I heard the voice in my ear. And it was like I heard it externally. Because the devil don't want me to be with him. That was years ago. God had been so kind. He'd been so patient. And so merciful. We got a real man of God, folks. We got a real apostle. A real one. Hallelujah. 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 So I'm thankful to God. I'm so thankful for him. I love him. I love him. God brought me from a long way. I got a long way to go. But I'm not where I was. I'm not where I was. And I'm thankful for that. Pray my strength in the Lord. That God would move out everything in my life that's not like him. All the scriptures I learned, I, I got, I got from him. I got from him. Pray my strength in the Lord.